Hello, this is Scott from Technology Integration Depot, and today we're demoing the crossword puzzle machine. I've got it loaded right now. As you can see up at the top, it's Adobe Flash uh, product, which means it will run on both PCs and Macs. And we're going to start with a title. Let's say we're going to make a puzzle with barnyard animals. Let me go ahead and put in the title. And then we'll come down to words. Uh, you can have up to 26 words and clues in these puzzles. Uh, let's start off with a chicken. Of course, a chicken will cluck. Let's put in a rooster. And cock-a-doodle-doo. Put in a horse. Horse will whinny. How about a pig? Which will oink. Now at this point we have four words. You can always hit the create button to see what your puzzle looks like. And there we go. It will put all four words together into a puzzle. If you don't like the configuration you see on the screen, you can hit retry and create. Looks the same to me. Create again. Maybe that's the only configuration that's available right now. I'm going to hit retry and we're going to put some more words in here. We've got a cow that will moo. We have a sheep that will buy. We have a rabbit. Rabbit doesn't make any noise, so we're going to just have it hop. A donkey, hee-haw, a crow, it's cause, and a goat. I look online and see what noise a goat makes. It said bleat. So is a sheep for that matter. But anyway, we've got 10 words here. I'm going to hit the create button. And here we have a puzzle. Like I said, you can hit retry. Maybe it'll put the words in a different uh, pattern. Maybe you'll like those more or not. Let's move down to the print button. Print does exactly what you would think it would do. Hit the print button. It will go ahead and print this puzzle. And once you do that, you can hit key on. And there you go. There's your answer key. You can hit print a second time. And then you have the original and the answer sheet for the teacher. Now, with all this being said, let's uh, compare the uh, Crossword Puzzle Machine to many of your online products. Now, many of you may be TPT sellers, and you probably notice that if you look at these online uh, products, they'll say, you can use this to make puzzles for educational purposes but you cannot use these to make commercial products. Many of them will say that. Once you buy this, you can use it to make as many products as you want. Matter of fact, I've gone on uh, TPT. A couple sellers have said, hey, you know, I've made puzzles and I'm currently selling them. I took a look at them. It's kind of neat to see your product used to uh, help others out as well. So once you buy it, use it to your heart's content. No restrictions there. Also, another reason why I like the way I built this product is that I found it annoying that these online uh, crossword puzzle makers, let's say you put in 25 words, quite often they'll say, well, you know, we tried, I'll give you 22 out of 25 or 20 out of 25. Well, if I put in all the words and the clues, I want to see them all here. And uh, this product will try 300 to 400 times to put all of the words on the uh, screen and if it can't hit retry you just keep on going until you get a configuration now another reason why I like this this is a feature that um, I don't see in any other products is the JPEG button I'm gonna turn the key off again JPEG button what that does is it allows you to save a JPEG image of the puzzle 
And the great thing about that is that you can go ahead and take these JPEG images, load them in your favorite graphics software, and decorate them. TPT authors are really creative on how they decorate their products, and this fits right in. Okay, we're going to call it Barnyard. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to put the key on and hit JPEG a second time. It says Barnyard Key. I'm going to save that as well. And I'm going to get out of that. My puzzle's made. Now I'm going to go to a graphics program here. I'm going to do a file open. I put everything in a demo folder. And there's the Barnyard JPEG. Open it up to 100%. And there is my puzzle. Now, I'm at this point. I can insert from file. And I downloaded some images from the internet. Uh, here's a pig. I'm going to take this little pig. And I'm going to put him over here. I can also insert a rooster. Put the rooster right there. Now many TPT sellers, they uh, spent money on different fonts. They want to go ahead and make their own titles. Uh, I'm going to touch up and clone. Basically, I'm going to cover up the title here. It's gone. Now I can go into some text, insert text. Put in Barnyard Friends. Oops. Didn't have the highlighter on. Try that again. And I can put my title up there, over here. Doesn't matter. Now I've got it nice and decorated. File Save As. Maybe it's another JPEG. Back to my demo folder. Barnyard final. Let's say it's done. Saved. You'll do the same thing with your answer sheet or not. And then you're ready to put that into a, uh, a lesson. Maybe even sell it on TPT and make money. My um, biggest seller so far is a... Uh, group of uh, puzzles and I've been selling for a couple of years my top seller a lot of teachers like puzzles maybe this give you gives you some ideas and how you can make money as well thank you for uh, watching this demo and I hope to hear from you soon thank you bye bye